If you're the curious adventurer type, you might be the sort to explore wild places and get intrigued by strange looking objects and animals, and you may not even hesitate to touch them. Of course, you wouldn't do that with animals like lions or snakes or bears. <laughs> but with some animals, the dangers are harder to see, and your curiosity might not serve you well, especially when it comes to the animals on this list. Any of the animals on this list could easily kill you, and the smarter option would be to run and call for help. help! Help! Welcome back to Forever Green, where today we're going to look at 10 animals you should never approach, but instead run and call for help. You should especially get away as fast as you can from number one. Stick around to find out what that is. Let's get into it. Number 10. The Flower Sea Urchin Suffice to say, we have no idea what the world's oceans hold. We have explored only a minuscule portion of it, and there are creatures in there we can't even imagine. When scuba divers are given their instructions before diving, they are warned to only leave bubbles and not to touch anything. But that's not just for the safety of the animals, it's primarily for their safety too. Some organisms in the sea can be very painful to touch, and the flower sea urchin could potentially be lethal to a scuba diver. Their poison comes from the triangular shaped arms that you see here, which contain stinging appendages that attach onto you and inject the poison. It can cause pain, interfere with transmissions on nerve endings, and cause contractions of smooth muscles. If stung, you will feel giddy, find it difficult to breathe, and it can even paralyze you. Yeah, if you see a pretty flower while you're down there, swim far, far away from it. Number 9. The Goliath Bird Eater The Goliath Bird Eater belongs to the tarantula family and weighs up to 6 ounces, making this the most massive spider in the world. It can grow up to be 11 inches in diameter, has a body the size of your fist, and is second in leg length only to the spindly Great Huntsman. Imagine one of these just crawling up to you at home while you work. Actually, don't. Why did I say that? These gigantic spiders are native to the rainforests of Venezuela, northern Brazil, Guyana, French Guyana, and Suriname. They live in burrows or beneath rocks and roots. It is an ambush predator, meaning it normally lies in wait for a prey to cross its path, rather than hunting food itself. It does not strictly consume birds. It gets the name from an unproved Victorian-era story about it eating a hummingbird. These are nocturnal beings, and they emerge from their burrows at night to feast on other invertebrates, like earthworms, beetles, and toads. It can also eat small rodents, bats, snakes, and lizards, and only very rarely baby birds and bird eggs. But why should we be worried about it? Well, these spiders are venomous, and though their sting won't kill you, the pain has been described as hammering a nail into your body. If that doesn't sound pleasant to you, it's best to stay away from these spiders. Number 8. The Goliath Tigerfish A humongous, ferocious creature in the deep sea, the Goliath Tigerfish is a native of the Congo River Basin in Africa and the largest member of the Tigerfish clan. The biggest one that we know of spans nearly 5 feet and weighs 154 pounds. It is so fearless, in fact, that it doesn't fear crocodiles and actually eats baby crocs. If you ever have the misfortune of coming across one, you'll see its mouthful of 32 jagged, razor-like teeth. Each tooth can be up to one inch long. When those teeth clamp down on a prey, it's a clean, almost surgical cut. Those attributes combined with its muscular physique make the Goliath a killing machine. A number of incidents have been reported from the Congo of this fish attacking humans. Their teeth are incredibly sharp and about the size of those of a great white shark, and they have very powerful jaws. Maybe throw this one back in the water, should you ever catch it. Number 7. Giant African Land Snail As the name suggests, these snails are native to eastern Africa and considered invasive in several other nations. They are the largest species of snail found on land and can grow up to 20 centimeters in length. It isn't poison or venom you should be worried about. They don't have any, but they are known transmitters of diseases, especially of a parasitic worm that causes meningitis. They pick it up if they eat droppings from a rat that also carries the disease. The worm could also be transmitted from a snail to a human if the human eats the snail. They can also transmit salmonella and other bacteria to people, especially if the snails are living in the wild. 
Maybe I'll keep off the snails if I ever visit East Africa. Number 6. The Stonefish These fish usually live on rubble or coral bottoms, often under rocks or ledges, but are also known to bury themselves in sand using their large pectoral fins. You'll find them throughout the tropical, marine waters of the Indo-Pacific and from the Great Barrier Reef, Queensland, to New South Wales. You gotta be careful if you go diving, because these guys know how to camouflage well, and do not swim away when they are disturbed, but rather erect their poisonous dorsal fin spines. And that's when the problems start. The reef stonefish is the most venomous fish in the world. It has 13 spines in the dorsal fin, which can inject a highly toxic venom, which causes intense pain, swelling, and it can spread to a whole limb in a matter of seconds. Breathing problems, a regular heartbeat, nausea, delirium, fever, and paralysis are all possible with the sting, and if left untreated, humans can die within an hour. Oh boy, that is a bleak last few minutes to have. If that sounds dangerous, you definitely want to stick around for number one. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than five seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it, it actually works. Number five, the polar bear. Sure, they look cuddly and warm and cute, but don't be fooled. They are one of the biggest carnivores on the planet, big enough to see humans as food. As powerful predators, polar bears pose a major risk to human life. They have huge bellies to fill and take advantage of whatever food presents itself. This usually might mean seals or birds, but it could be anything else they find. The Arctic is cold and food is rare, so you bet these bears are looking to stock up. They can easily outrun us and knock our heads off with a mere swing of the paw. Yikes. Their powerful sense of smell attracts them to human waste, stored food, dog teams, and animal carcasses, bringing them into greater conflict with people in the Arctic. If you ever come across them, the best thing to do is move away, very slowly and quietly. Don't run. Just walk slowly in a sideways direction and keep your eye on it. As long as you don't excite them, you should be okay. Number 4. The Komodo Dragon The Komodo Dragon is the largest living lizard on the planet. Spanning a good 10 feet, and they come with teeth as large as a shark's, which they use to grip prey and rip open its flesh. The name comes from the stories of a large dragon living in the Komodo Island off the coast of Indonesia. You may not even see it coming. They move incredibly quickly over short distances, and their favorite method of attack is to lie in the bushes and long grass and then pounce on their prey, which can be as large as a water buffalo. And it doesn't have a problem wrestling a water buffalo. Humans are certainly not an issue. The venom these creatures inject into their prey contains toxins that result in anticoagulation and low blood pressure. Quite cruelly, sometimes they don't kill their prey. They have a poisonous saliva full of about 80 different types of bacteria. So in a couple of days, septicemia sets in and the prey dies. Their shark-like teeth leave a nasty bite. So if the wounded prey somehow manages to get away, the Komodo dragon simply follows the trail of blood for a few miles. Number three, the geography cone fish. See the beautiful, intricately patterned shells? It's quite a collector's item when it's dead. Alive, they are some of the deadliest sea animals in the world. Indigenous to the reefs of the Indo-Pacific, the geographic conefish grow to about six inches in length and have the most incredibly toxic venom strong enough to paralyze its prey instantly. It needs to be instant because this fish moves very slowly. And if the prey manages to get away, the conefish would never catch up. Well, there's some good news. You can definitely outswim this fish. Just make sure you don't get too curious about its pretty shell, because if you're bitten, you will suffer muscle paralysis, blurred vision, respiratory collapse, and eventually death. There's no anti-venom for this kind of bite, and the only way to survive it is to keep the victim alive long enough for the effects of the toxin to wear off. Before we go on, let's take a quick break to check out today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you find something odd or bizarre while scrolling the internet, be sure to send it over to us and we'll investigate. Today's pick was sent to us by a subscriber and… okay. We can see why you needed us for this, it's definitely odd. 
looks like a really bad toupee, but you'll be surprised to know this is actually a caterpillar. Which brings us to number two. The Asp Caterpillar. This inch-long larva is generously coated in long, luxuriant hair-like bristles, making it resemble a small cat, the characteristic that also gave it the name Puss Caterpillar. It can be a grayish, white, or golden brown, or a dark charcoal gray, and usually has a streak of bright orange running along its length. The fur on early stage larvae is sometimes extremely curly, giving them a cottony, puffed up look. As much as you might want to touch this fluffy animal, don't. They are considered the most highly venomous caterpillars in North America. The hairs on these caterpillars break off and stick, and they have sharp spines. The spines are connected to venom glands and function like little hypodermic needles. Apparently, the pain feels like a broken bone or blunt force trauma. It is sometimes localized to the affected area, but more often it's very severe, radiating up a limb and causing burning, swelling, nausea, headache, rashes, numbness, and difficulty breathing. If you see this caterpillar, run away. Before we check out the number one most dangerous animal you should definitely run away from, we have a little challenge for you. Go ahead and like this video and comment down below. We want to see if you can balance the number of likes against the number of comments. And go. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out other amazing videos on our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed this video so far. Tell us in comments which one of these you like the most and why. Let's see number one. Portuguese Man of War. The Portuguese Man of War is a floating terror in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. It may resemble a jellyfish, but it's actually from the Siphonophore family, which is closely related to jellyfish. It is definitely gorgeous and intriguing, but their polyps contain nidocytes that deliver a neurotoxin capable of paralyzing small fish. Well, you're no small fish, so what effect could it have on you? Well, their stings are excruciatingly painful, and it stays with you for about three days. In that time, you're likely to develop red welts and swelling. Since they have no means of propulsion, strong winds can likely carry them onto bays and beaches, and even when they're dead, they can be dangerous to humans. Watch out for a beautiful, colorful jellyfish when you're walking along the beach, and should you spot it, run. Well, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the Forever Green channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.